scientists are announcing this morning the discovery of 12 new moons orbiting Jupiter. The Carnegie, Carnegie Institution for Science put out this video showing the different types of moons hovering around the planet. They believe two of these new moons broke off a larger moon. There is also one they call an oddball because it moves in the opposite direction and can potentially collide with some of the other moons. Just in case you were counting, this brings Jupiter's lunar count up to 79. So let's bring in Nicole Martellero. She is the senior science and technology writer for CBC News, and she joins us now in the studio. So how does this even happen that a moon gets discovered? Who's out there looking for these sorts of things? Well, actually, it's funny that you ask because it was an accident. Um, these astronomers were actually looking for the proposed planet nine or planet X that is beyond the orbit of Pluto. So what happened was they noticed that there was something moving against the backdrop of the stars. So they had to still make sure that it wasn't orbiting the sun. So they had to go back a year later and then they saw that in fact it was orbiting Jupiter. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And now how significant is this? I mean, it's significant because any new findings is significant and it's also teaching us that we don't know uh, you know, quite what's out there. These moons are only one, two, three kilometers wide, so they're not very big. But it, like I said, it is teaching us that we still have lots to learn about our own solar system. Right, and what's the definition of a moon, actually? I mean, not an asteroid, not a planetoid. What, what makes it a moon? It's, it's orbiting a planet, so that's okay. the difference. Okay, um, and then what is about an oddball moon? <laughs> that would be Valetudo. So, if you imagine uh, Jupiter orbiting, right, mm -hmm. the moons will orbit together in the same direction, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's called a prograde motion. And then there are moons that are around Jupiter that are going the opposite direction. Retrograde. Those, right, exactly. Now, Valetudo is not only is it going, it's on a different inclination, so it's not on the same plane, but it's also plowing through in the opposite direction of those retrograde moons. So as the astronomer, one of the astronomers told me, it's like a car driving the wrong way down a highway. Right, right, and so what does that mean though? I mean, we said in the intro that it potentially could crash into one of the other moons. How likely is that to happen and, and what would happen then? Well, okay, so first of all, Valetudo was created that way, or something plowed into it, and created, like, they think it was about 10 kilometers wide or tens of kilometers wide. Now it's down to one kilometer. But and it, things do crash into each other. That does happen with Valetudo. Um, they're, right now they're running a simulation on a supercomputer and they're calculating that. It's not gonna happen in our lifetime, but over the age of the solar system, it will likely happen again. Mm-hmm, and 79? moons like how unusual is that well Saturn is I think it's at 60 61 maybe 60 right now um, these planets are massive it's not like Earth they can capture especially Jupiter it's the biggest thing aside from the Sun in our solar system so it captures things as uh, you know as they pass by and that is what is believed to have happened with Valetudo and some of these moons because otherwise if they had formed in the same time as the planet it would have crashed in and just gone. Mm -hmm. And then what does this discovery do in terms of our understanding of the solar system? Well, it teaches us that, um, A, we have a lot <laughs> to learn, um, but also about the formation of our solar system. So uh, when the solar system forms, it's uh, swirling gas and dust and debris, the planets form, and then the moons, there's, there's, we don't quite know when moons are forming or how they form, and in this case it's telling us that the moons formed after the planet hmm. Jupiter did itself. Okay, thank you so much, Nicole.